I'm with Love Lot Sean Art and So, and tonight I I didn't tell Brandy what we were gonna do because it's a surprise. Actually, we're gonna make butterfly belly bands. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry. I'm losing my voice, or I actually lost my voice. Hopefully, I'm getting it back soon. Don't know where it went, but I need it back. And um, I'm just gonna show you a few things I use to make the butterflies because we don't always have things sitting around the house, um, I don't, um, that are butterflies ready to do. So I actually have a Sizzix and I cut these. I just had some paper that I had used to wipe my brush off on. And so I cut butterflies and it turned out kind of cute because you can see the little, where I did the uh, brush the paint off, they've got a little gold on there. So I made these butterflies that we can use. I had these I had bought at Dollar Tree. So I thought I could use these. And they're, um, Dollar Tree is my favorite go-to. Um, these also came from Dollar Tree. And also, these may be too big. I'm, I've given a lot of these away in Happy Mail. And also in my subscription box. They get a lot of things like this, so um, those are going to be way too big, but I still have a couple of small ones here, and um, love going to Dollar Tree and finding all kinds of good stuff. That's why I like to just keep going back. Yeah, I've about used all of the, I think I've given all the little ones away. Big ones are harder to use. I use them on cards though. So, but I did buy these at Hobby Lobby. And there's some butterflies in here. So these are Tim Holtz. Um, cost a little more, but you get a little more. So here's some little butterflies we're gonna use. But also, we're gonna need some ephemera. So, let me enlarge my screen so I can see any comments. Please, please comment. Um, and let me know you're on here watching. I would love to uh, <clears throat> hear from you. Oh, look, there's a lot of good stuff in there I can use in in the uh, on the butterfly belly bands that we're making tonight. Look at the bugs. <laughs> I don't know about the bugs. This is a cute butterfly. So I have all of these. I can just see all kinds of stuff to do with these. So I'm going to set these to the side. I got some Distress Ink we might use. We have, I don't know if I'll need any fiber or ribbon, but I have fiber and ribbon. Because, you know, I like to be prepared. I have so much stuff. I bet you Valerie could think of something to do with these uh these containers here, these leftover packaging. So I'm going to save those. I'm sure she's going to tell us something. Here's some other cute stickers that could be used. Um, also, I get, I, I write poetry, so I collected a lot of stationery and really cute stationery, and I would print my poetry on the stationery. So this right here is just one of the stationaries. It's got a butterfly. I can cut this out. I can cut any of this out to use for ephemera. So if you don't want to go buy a package of ephemera, just cut it out. You can use a magazine to cut it out. Cut out pictures from a magazine would work great. Um, I have a lot of scrapbook paper. I use this scrapbook paper on a wooden box I made this week in another group and it's got a butterfly on there. I could cut that out. I went through my books and found I think these would be great to cut out for the bands and then I'll add the butterflies and extra stuff to them but you don't even have to add too much to this. Here's another really pretty piece of paper. I can cut this flower, this butterfly. I can cut any of this out 
to make my own ephemera, which I think is pretty cool. Here are some butterfly papers that came out of one of my books. Look at all the butterflies. I don't think I... I don't think I got that many in my package of ephemera that I bought. So, the problem is, you have to cut it out. You have to fussy cut. I thought this one was really, I love this. I love this, this book, this whole book. But remember, a few weeks ago when I made paper, I thought maybe I'd use some of this paper to make the belly band and then glue the rest of the stuff to it. This was an envelope. So let's use part of this envelope. <clears throat> Maybe one of these. This might be a little thin. I'm not used to making belly bands. I'm new to junk journaling. So I'm just having fun learning. And if you're new to junk journaling, don't be shy about trying it because, you know, it's it, you're not going to ruin anything. It's not going to hurt anything if you have to start over. So I'm going to start off by cutting this. A, now a belly band is like a bookmark in your journal. Only you glue it down or you attach it in some way. Now this is, this is just uh, like cardstock. So I'm going to cut this into two pieces because I don't want it that wide. I don't know if there's a certain size that you want it to be. If any of you are out there that are belly band experts, feel free to enlighten us if there is a particular size you want it to be. From the video I watched, this was about the size. Um, she made it, let's see. Let's see. I don't have. Here we go. How tall is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a, almost eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, eight. So that would be a really good size right there. About eight, eight and a half. So I'm gonna make two out of that. This one's just like that, so I'm not gonna use it. We'll use this envelope. And let me cut a piece. I think I'll cut, I don't even know if I'll cut the edges off. I think I'll leave it, because I think it kind of looks cool. And I'm making this one two inches. If you're commenting, I can't see your comments. I'm sorry, I'm not seeing any comments, so I would love to see. I mean, it may just be my connection out here. Let's see if I can see along here. I can't look upside down. That's hard. I think I'll leave those crazy things on there just because it's interesting. I'll leave that. I don't want to cut in the middle of the window. I have this other book that would be great for some ephemera. I love these books. And look at how pretty these uh, pages are. They're almost ephemera in themselves. Like this one right here would be really, really cool. We'll take one of those. There was another one I think I saw that I liked. Let's see what we've got. Oh, there's one. Look at that. It's already got the butterflies. This would be pretty to put on the back. This is a like a family tree book, but I thought I had another page out of here, but maybe, no, no, I did. Oh, I like that one. Let's pull this one. Oops, tore it. It doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not going to use the whole page at once. I love the music notes. I think I want to cut this one, cut some of these little clocks, maybe this clock. There's a butterfly right here. It's got a little bit off, but it's okay. I don't mind. I'm going to cut around this and make it 
my own little piece of ephemera. Now for the, I saw one video where she said she uses, sometimes she uses masking tape, but she was using something else, just a, something that was an antique we couldn't get, but it was almost like, almost like calculator tape. So you could use just a strip of paper is basically all you need. I sound like a, I've got a deep alto voice today. I always like to sing whenever I'm, <laughs> whenever I have a sore throat because then I can sing low. Otherwise I sing high. I was like, oh, I can sing alto today. So let's just play around for a minute and see what we are going to do here. So this is our, our belly band. I don't know which side I want to, to glue them on. Let's see. Sorry, I need comfortable. Okay, so that doesn't show up much on that side. It does show up. Let's glue them on this side. And this will be our back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some different little pieces of this um, ephemera and just lay it on here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the butterflies last. Now, it's kind of bland. I also have y'all recall I did this on a live where I put napkins I just uh, decoupage napkins to make these uh, bookmarks but these could totally be a belly band and then we could actually glue butterflies onto this now it's not going to show up that one's not going to show up let's see if these will a little I think it needs to be something much lighter to show up. Anyway, we're going to do this. There's just a little, you could totally stamp a word or write a word. My stamps are all over there and I didn't bring them over here. So why don't I just, okay. I think I'm just gonna start gluing down. Oh, you know what, before I do that, tape. I'm going to use this double face tape and put on here so I have something to stick to. And then I'll also use some glue. So I'm just going to put this down the middle. Press it down really good. Whoops, I think I got it on top of my butterfly there. Of course, and once it's stuck, it's stuck. All right, we're going to pull this, press it down really good so the sticky stuff sticks, and then pull the top layer off. Hopefully, if all works well, that's what we plan to do. I don't know how long I've had this double face tape, so. Once you get it going, you're good. There you go. So I'm gonna pull that off. And I'm just gonna start laying in. I wanna start with this neat little tag and I think I wanna put a, a word. And then I'll put that even. And then I'm just gonna kinda lay, I like the little flowers. I had some other flowers that I couldn't, I didn't find them. And they're much more colorful. Don't stick anything down until you're ready because it will stick. We're gonna like go off the edge here a little bit, but I want some of the paper to show because then it's pretty. So I'm just gonna kind of, I think I want the butter, the, you know, like the flowers to be on there and then the butterflies because the butterflies land on the flowers. How about a, a toadstool. 
sort of Alice in Wonderland land there. It's kind of cute. I'm going to leave some of the sticky showing because then when I put the butterfly down, it'll stick. Let's see what we got. This one I cut out. It's kind of light. Oh. Is that clock? It's too light. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the distress ink and we're going to go around the butterfly so it'll show up. I'm going to, let's see, which what color is what? Okay. That's purple. I kind of like the purple. It's too purple. I don't know. I see people do this, but it never works very good for me. But I'll probably get it all over me, so be prepared to see purple hands. There we go. Alright, I'm going to stick that one right there. about this one. Do we want to add a little? I think it kind of needs a little bit to make it stand out. I'm just doing the edges. It might be easier if I took a Sharpie. Honestly, I think it would be. Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of it there. Go down. Give it a downward downward trajectory. How's that? Oh, yeah. That needs to go there. Let me get my glue. Yeah, it needs to go down a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to have room to put a word if I don't I keep moving and stuff. Let's see. I think it needs something because I just got glue right there. How about this butterfly? No. This is the fun part. Figuring out what goes where. What can I put where? There we go. I'm using a Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. My daughter gave it to me for Mother's Day. She knows me. <coughs> Last year she gave me boxes from my subscription boxes, so it's like, gee, so sweet. Now, because I have some sticky, sticky tape here, I'm just going to stick some things in there to keep it from sticking to the to the book. So what I have here is some paper I've torn and used for um, collages. So I'm going to use this paper and I'm just going to stick some little scraps in there. I probably should have done that. Well, I couldn't do it first, could I? Just don't want that sticky tape coming up, sticking to my book. What I should have done was covered it completely. Like I said, this is my first time making a belly band. are sticky so I need to put something there as well. What can I put there? Oh, I still have this pretty butterfly. I can cover that right there. Let me put some glue. Okay, and this is sticky so I need something long and skinny. How about this? 
And I'm going to cover up that butterfly. That's okay. It wasn't my favorite butterfly. I'm just adding some willy-nilly. You can add more. Just layer it. Ah, my fingers did not want to pick that up. This says enclosure. See if I have any. I think I've covered it all, so I'm just gonna go. Like, but I still need some more butterflies because I have really only two good ones showing. How about how about one right there? Okay, don't judge, guys. It's my first one. <laughs> Hopefully the second one will be better. You learn as you go, right? Okay, but it still needs another butterfly. Let's see if one of these will look good. These are stickers, so. And they're, they're 3D stickers. Make some fun. I want one about the color. I'll match those we go. I love sparkles. Okay, that's adorable. It's got a little bit of a sticky right there. I'm going to roll it to the back so it doesn't stick. Alright, there's one done. One and done. I want to write something or stamp something down here or see if I have something. This is cute. Create beautiful moments. Let's put that right there. Just cover it up. Wasted the whole thing because I covered it up. It's all right. There. So there's one actually done. Now this isn't exactly like the one of the sample that we had. Um, but we want you to do your own take on it. You don't have to do it like uh, we do it or like the, like the other video that I looked at. I'm not doing it like her video. I'm doing it like, like the way I want to do it. Then I'm going to take some of that off of there. Okay. So what you want to do, okay, we want to put the coverage and then the pretty stuff, layer it up. Start with the background and then layer up. So let's see what we want to use for this one. Oh, wait, wait. Let's use this one that I cut. No, I already, that's one I just did, wasn't it? Now let's do the envelope. Which one did I just do? I did the envelope. We'll do this. And almost, I'm going to put this on the back and put it on this side. And I think instead of the tape, I'm just going to glue it down. Then I don't have to worry about the sticky stuff. So let's, in fact, I could Mod Podge it. That would be cool. You know it? That would be neat. I could take these and Mod Podge it down. And the sun, <laughs> my, my fan is blowing everything. I'm just going to put some Mod Podge on here. And then start putting some of these uh, papers down. Let's see. What do I want to put down? I really want to use some. Oh, there's a flower one. Yeah, I want to use something like that. one of these. I'm just going to tear it out. That's easier. I like the tear look. I 
I'm just adding layers of Mod Podge. I love this piece right here. I'm going to put it here. I'm just going to cover that spot right there. What else have I got? What can I use? Use more of this paper. It'll just be a background butterfly. That looks cute. I love that butterfly. <coughs> I'm just going to go around it with some. other things to add to it. Be trim it when I get done. Or I might leave it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Well, that's what I got. Oh, look, look, look. I have some flowers. I love the flowers. I want to tear these. And some large bars. Down and watch, watch, put it down and watch, watch. I need something here. Who's that? How about a, <laughs> an ugly bug? Oh, how about one of these? Yep, no place for it. Something small. I need something small. There's a little butterfly. Maybe this little baby one. go off the edge. I'm okay with that. Okay. Alright, that's kind of cute. Let's add a few butterflies on top. Maybe a flower. A small flower. It's got to be little. Maybe a little butterfly right there. How about an, I don't know, dragonfly? Maybe it's a dragonfly. It's a dragonfly here. And we need another butterfly. Maybe right there. Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Y'all know I love butterflies. I think you do now. There's a little bitty one. I did it right up here. I need one right there. So this one I'm Mod Podge. The other one I use sticky tape and um, glue. So you can do any way you want. There's another one. Mod Podge. I don't want to stick to it. Let's see. Do we want to put? 
How about caterpillar? Should have done it first. Need a small word. Specimen would be cute. I don't have anything else to put there. I think we're done. We're going to stop right there. Let me wash out my brush. So now we've done two, two belly bands. You know what? It needs another. It needs one of these, doesn't it? So I love that one. I really love it. I don't know if it'll stick. I'm going to have to glue it. I guess I lost it. It'll show back up. So anyway, so there we go. You know why I didn't use one of these either yet? Let's do that. I could add that right there. Or right there. Let me put it in one of those. I'm just going to glue that part. Have a little 3D going on both of them, but it'll flatten in the book, so it's fine. So there's a couple of butterfly belly bands. Pull this off. So you can see them. Now, can't wait to see your take on the butterfly belly bands. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.